All right, good morning. Uh, as folks are um, jumping on the call here, we're gonna give people a second or two to um, get on. So I'm just gonna say good morning and we're gonna allow people to, the time to get into the room and get adjusted and we'll start shortly. Okay. All right, good morning. Uh, my name is Trish McFarlane and I'm the president of the Delaware County Chamber of Commerce and we are thrilled to have uh, Maggie Songer from Villanova University here with us today uh, to talk about some new opportunities that they just put together for our small businesses. Did just want to uh, give a quick overview of upcoming events or webinars we have in the next day or so. This afternoon at 1 p.m., we have a webinar about business funding opportunities. There's a new opportunity in Delaware County. And as we know, PPP just reopened again, so we'll be talking about that. Tomorrow morning at 9 a.m., uh, we will have our business owners group, which is a round table if you're interested in that. And then 1 p.m. tomorrow afternoon, we will have an opening up Delco um, webinar where we'll talk about how we can open up Delaware County business businesses uh, safely but um, you know, moving in the fact that we do need to reopen again. So without further ado, I would like to turn this over to Maggie, who will be uh, talking about their new program. Maggie, thank you so much for being with us today. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much as well. Um, so today I wanted to talk to you about a new initiative at Villanova where we're trying to connect students to small business opportunities during COVID. Um, I wanted to welcome everyone today, wish you a good morning. It is a gorgeous day out, thank goodness, um, and hope you get outside to enjoy a little bit of this weather. Um, special thanks goes to Trish and Jacqueline Miley and Jessica Hoffman at the Delaware County Chamber of Commerce for helping to set this up, as well as I don't know if my colleague, Laura Wagner, is on the call or not, but she works in Villanova's Government Relations and External Affairs Office and she's the one that connected us to the chamber, so thankful for that as well. So like all of you, I just wanted to make a note, um, I am working from home, so um, it obviously comes with beautiful advantages and beautiful distractions. So I hope we're able to get through this whole presentation with one of those beautiful distractions, but bear with me if we, if we do have a child or an animal walk into the room, um, we will work you know, our way through this together. So I just wanted to kind of kick it off and get started with what this initiative is all about. So the Small Business Initiative, what is our goal? So at, at Villanova, we um, completely appreciate and recognize that during these difficult times, that small businesses are uniquely affected by the quarantine and facing a lot of new challenges. Um, and at the same time, Villanova students are also in a very unique situation as many of their summer experiences have been canceled or changed. So the Career Center helps students with guidance, guidance for whatever situation they're in and um, are really looking to try to connect students with summer opportunities that might be slightly different than what they had originally planned. Um, so we really would love for the opportunity to support, support each other during these times. So helping local businesses while also providing learning and work opportunities for our students during these trying times. Um, the Small Business Opportunities Initiative that I'm here to talk to you about came out of a new group at Villanova that formed after the quarantine started that is called the Summer Experience Task Force. Um, the task force consists of individuals in all of the academic colleges, as well as our Center for Research, our Study Abroad Office, the Career Center, and we're working to offer Villanova students opportunities to build their skill sets, their professional skill sets, through experiences this summer. So as the situation continues to shift and change, we are in the position to support each other and Villanova students seeking virtual or remote work opportunities can assist you um, with promoting your business or advertising your services. So that's the goal of the program. And I'm sure you might be thinking, how can you get involved? So it's really, really simple. There's a couple just steps to get involved in this program. So first um, is just thinking about your current business um, and what you may need. This could be just to keep the doors open currently if you're still operating, or maybe you're thinking about shifting, um, or maybe even you're thinking about you're needing funds in order to 
um, to survive this quarantine. So what are you looking to achieve? And then what is your skill gap? So what, would, what do you currently not have in, in uh, your organization that um, could help you achieve that goal? And then thirdly, can you package it into a virtual or remote opportunity for a student to support you? As you know, our students have come from all across the United States, um, even globally, but I would especially think the students in the US would be interested in this. So um, meeting you in person is, is probably not going to be a possibility. So it would be what types of uh, things or jobs could you give them that they could work, on, work at from home? And then simply step two is just to let us know about it. So we created a new website. Um, it, it, the URL is at the top of the screen right now, but it's a bit.ly, um, COVID-19 Hire Nova. And on this website, when you scroll down, you will see a simple form that you, have, you can fill out. It asks you for questions like your organization name, your address, your contact information, um, and then a bit some questions about the opportunity, including the um, job title, the description of what you're looking for, um, if the employment type is full-time or part-time, um, the position duration, so two weeks to three months or something to that effect, um, the compensation, so you would check a box whether it would be paid or unpaid, and then um, the position that you would want, the open date for the position you would want, as well as the close date. And then lastly, just provide us with how you would like students to apply. So through a company-sponsored website, that's fine, and you would provide the URL, or perhaps you would want them to send their resume to, via email to you, um, to the email address that you provide. So, and we do the rest, quite frankly. So um, we really wanted to make this super simple for you and, and the ability to get these opportunities out there so we can connect them with students. So the first thing we will do on our end is post the opportunity in Handshake. So Handshake is Villanova's career management portal. It lists all um, internships, full-time jobs, as well as career events, lots of things. It's where students go to actually sign up for career counseling appointments as well. It's open to alumni as well as current students. Um, so it actually, Handshake typically requires an employer set up an account and post a job via their own account, but we've streamlined, streamlined the process for you to make it easier for you to promote to our students. So we, you will not need to create a university and an employer profile. We will post a position under Villanova University's account so that we could quickly push it out to students. And then students will not be applying to you via Handshake they will be applying directly to you via those means that you provided in the form. So I just thought I could provide you with a sample job posting of um, a job that we have via this initiative in there currently. Um, so this is a local company that is looking for a website development and marketing support. Every job posting has the same introduction um, telling the student about the opportunity that this job is not via Villanova, but one of our local small businesses, um, and that they should not apply via Handshake, but by the, follow the instructions in the posting. And then you will see a, a brief description that the um, individual provided us by that, via that form, as well as how the student can apply. So some other jobs that we currently have posted are a digital video producer, a web design assistant, a marketing intern, a social media and online marketing support, as well as a math and reading teaching assistant via one of our local um, services that provides um, support and professional support for students in, in those areas. Um, some other jobs that we haven't seen posted yet are, um, which would be completely relevant, uh, perhaps you might need help with payment processing or writing a business plan or even research um, assistance for loans. If that's, a, you know, you, you actually require, you are requiring some loans, but you don't have the time um, to, to do that yourself. So that's an option as well. Um, our only caveat is that we do not post non-professional positions. So if you have a non-professional opportunity, so that would be something we would consider unrelated to a student's academic pursuits. 
Um, we have other websites that we push students to for, for jobs like that, as well as, as when we receive jobs like that, we push them to other websites. Um, some examples are ones that we would recommend are way up quad jobs and snag jobs are some good ones for non-professional opportunities. So um, once we have the job in the system, we then um, start pushing it out to students. This is a brand new initiative. So this was featured in our newsletter to students um, this past Sunday, a call out uh, for skill building with small businesses with a link where they can quickly connect to Handshake and see what opportunities are in there. So we will continue to push that out in our newsletters every Sunday. Um, these newsletters are customized by each um, uh, academic college that we have in Villanova. Uh, we will be sending targeted emails to students. Um, specifically, we can look at the types of skills that perhaps individuals are needing around the area so we could send them out to the students that actually have those skills. Um, we are going to do a social media campaign. Uh, we already have webinars with students scheduled um, and in, within the different academic colleges around professional development. So this will be shared with them in those webinars. Our career counselors will share it in their career counseling appointments with students. Um, we are now in the process of doing a bunch of resume review workshops, uh, virtually of course, with seniors that will be graduating. Um, this will be mentioned. And um, in addition to that, some, some of our faculty and faculty chairs in the different departments are pushing it out to their students um, in those majors, which is fantastic. So uh, lastly, we built actually a new website in the last few weeks for students that are affected by COVID. Um, and this will be featured in that website as well. So um, basically we, through this, um, you know, uh, consortium uh, or task force that I talked about earlier, um, we decided to build a website that would support students on next steps during COVID-19. So students that have maybe lost their internship opportunity for the summer, or they're seeking an internship, or even if for seniors, if their, um, their full-time jobs had been rescinded. So behind those links, we will be featuring the small business initiative as well and be connecting students to Handshake so that they could see the job postings coming in. So Villanova, just, you know, I wanted to um, reiterate how much we value our local business partners and um, we really hope to play a role in navigating, helping you navigate through these difficult times. You know, our goal is to provide you with responsive services to meet your individual business needs and to making connecting with our students simple and easy. So in addition, we give students virtual opportunities to interact with professionals to basically obtain highly desired experiences and skills. So that, that is our goal with this arrangement. Um, and we really hope that this connection uh, is mutually beneficial for both you and our students. So how can you connect with us? So um, again, I just wanted to provide you with that bit.ly um, bit um, forward slash COVID-19 Hire Nova um, is the quick link to that form I spoke about at the beginning um, that where you can enter in your job description. Um, and then if you would like more information about recruiting at Villanova, um, basically if you maybe have um, an established internship program or you were, would love to hire a full-time a student postgrad, um, or you know, basically you're thinking about maybe doing something like that in the future, a uh, hirenova.villanova.edu takes you straight to our employer pages on our website, the Career Center's website. Um, and we just actually, within the last 24 hours, we published um, something new. It's called our Virtual Internship Guide. And that is, if you're looking to build out something a bit more formal, a more formal internship for the summer, it provides you with great advice in how you would do that and build that out and provide an experience for a student virtually. So I just wanted to thank every, every one of you for attending today. Um, it's been my pleasure. I really hope that we're able to support each other during these times. And I just wanted to leave you with something that uh, graphic that we show students a lot when we have um, discussions with them about their 
uh, you know, giving them career advice. And a lot of individuals and people think that, um, you know, uh, success looks like the top graphic, which is the a very um, clear arrow that is going in an upward direction. But um, as we tell our students and what is completely a reality right now for all of us during these times is that it actually looks a bit more like the bottom graphic where it's squiggling all around, it's going up, it's going down, um, but it's always going in um, a positive direction. So while, uh, you know, these times might, you might be facing your arrow going a bit down, um, we hope with some of our student support that we'll be able to support you in moving it um, continually in the upward direction to kind of shift your business in these, in these times. So I'm open to any questions that you have. Again, I wanna thank you for your time and, and um, hope you get involved. Maggie, thank you so much. I just wanna remind all of the participants, if you have any questions, please feel free to uh, type it in the chat box. There's uh, some links that are shared that Maggie spoke about during the webinar, um, but we'll give everybody a minute or so in case there are any questions uh, for Maggie today or you could even raise your hand. I don't know if we have that here this morning, but uh, we'll give it another 30 seconds to see if we have any questions for Maggie. But I do think that you were, um, Maggie, you were so thorough with this. Um, it is so easy. No, um, it really make it easy for small businesses to be able to connect with the, the students at Villanova University with such great skills that um, we're really looking forward to, to uh, bring this to the community. And I think it'll be a great success. Yeah, and and that and and even if people want to bookmark that link and something might occur to them later next week, two weeks, a month from now, please feel free to still you know submit it as we'll be pushing this out all summer. Well, this is fantastic. So um, it doesn't look like there's any questions, but if anybody has any follow up afterwards, uh, feel free to email the chamber or Maggie, and uh, we will get back to you right away. Maggie, this has been really. Oh wait, hold on. Hold on. One question. <laughs> um, uh, what were the other websites for non-professional opportunities that you spoke oh, about? Oh, sure. Um, let me go back um, to that. Actually, I didn't put them on the slide. My apologies. So um, snag a job, S-N-A-G-A-G-O-B, snag a job, way up is another one. Um, and another one that students use is called quad jobs, Q-U-A-D. Quad J J O B S quad jobs. So that would be for for any type of opportunity that would be a little bit more non professional in nature. So um, part time, full time. If you're looking for a student to work while they're on campus. Awesome. Well, Maggie, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedules. Are, are, are the students just working from home? Um, tip, yes, um, all students are, most, I shouldn't say all students, most students are off campus at this point. We do have a few students that had to stay on campus, but um, they're all basically uh, taking classes remotely. So we're just trying to find opportunities for them to um, increase their professional skills remotely as well. Okay, because one of the uh, participants today are, they are open and um, she's wondering if they could come. So I guess that would probably be based on each student and their um, availability and their uh, comfort level, correct? Ex yes, exactly. And um, it's just such a small percentage of students that are still, like I said, living on campus. But um, we do have students that, you know, live locally and, you know, attend Villanova. I just say it's probably a smaller percentage than you might think. It, it does draw a lot from the Northeast and across the United States as well. So it's, it's worth a shot, is my point. Just make sure that you would put that in the job description that it, it would be an opportunity that, it, that they would, could physically come in. All right, terrific. Well, I think, uh, when will the decision, oh, I'm not really sure um, if this is uh, for this particular conversation, but uh, can you talk a little bit about the decision that'll be made if there will be fall classes or uh, versus 100% online, or I think maybe that's uh, not something that we want yeah. to <laughs> I would love to know that answer as well. Yeah, no decision has, has been made yet, and um, I don't have an inclination of when that decision will be made. I'm not part of those discussions, 
But um, our, our goal as a university is obviously to um, try to open, but there's so many factors that are out of our control. So um, I'm, I'm not sure yet myself. All right. Awesome. Well, yep. thank you. Uh, uh, oh, yes. Um, so thank you so much, Maggie, for mm -hmm. um, helping us and to learn more and uh, be able to take advantage of the opportunities that you're presenting today. So thank you. Um, and we look, we look to continue to grow this partnership in the future. Wonderful. Wonderful. Thanks right. again. Have a great day. Be well, everyone. You too.